Hello everyone, my name is Janice and I'm over at the Arizona Science Center where we're going to be making our own at-home LED flashlights. So some of the items that you're going to need for this project are going to be, of course, our LEDs. We'll need some non-conductive tape, some copper wire and or copper tape, which you can easily find at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Depot or Lowe's, some batteries, a popsicle stick, scissors, and our binder clips. So to start off, we're going to need our popsicle stick and we'll need our medium-sized binder clip. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a little piece of our popsicle stick in order to create a flat edge. Before we cut, just make sure that you have your favorite adult to help you out with this portion of the steps. So this is going to be about an inch and a quarter. Cuts. We are then going to go over with our LED light and we'll take our battery. We're going to make sure that our battery works by trying it out. First the LED light and the battery by itself. You need to make sure that you actually try the smooth side with the long part of our LED and the short side with the uh, rougher part of our battery. So now that we have our popsicle stick cut with one flat edge on one side, we're going to stick our LED light on the curved end. We'll take our copper wire and put the copper wire on top of the prongs. We need to make sure that the copper wire is down almost to the end of the popsicle stick. It doesn't need to reach the end. And we're going to do the same to the back side. We have copper tape on one side of our popsicle stick, making sure that it touches this end of our LED light. And in the back, we have more copper tape covering the other leg of the LED light down to the end of the popsicle stick. Now that we've made sure that there is copper tape on both sides of our wooden stick, we are going to tape our battery. We're only going to tape the top half of the battery and the smooth side is going to lay on the bottom. We are then going to use our binder clip towards the very bottom. So now that we've completed our at-home LED light, let's see how it works and turn off a few of our lights. All right, let's switch it on. So what we have here is our switch. The binder works as the on and off button in the flashlight. We have our power source, which is the battery. Our copper tape is working as the conductor and taking over that power to our LED light. Thank you so much for doing this activity along with me. I hope you all have a really fun time working with these at-home LED lights. To check out more videos like this, go ahead and go to azscience.org or come and visit us at the Arizona Science Center. Thank you.